Welcome back to Bear Creek Arsenal, everyone. We have here in front of me uh, AR-15 and then also an AR-10. And what we're going to be discussing today are some of the reasons why you would want an AR-15 and an AR-10. Um, the calibers that we offer in the AR-10 are the 243, the 308, and the 6.5 Creedmoor. The few differences between the AR-10 and the AR-15, for one, as you can see, and I got it, this is more of a, of a 20 inch barrel, and I've got a 10 and a half inch barrel here, but uh, the size, the size difference between the bodies, you can see the two, the two sizes here of, your, of the AR-10 and then the AR-15. So it, it, the body size is, is larger, uh, which larger, yes, does equal to heavier. So some of the, one of the small differences is the weight of the rifle, hence the size being different. Talking about weight, uh, some of you, depending on where you're hunting, uh, where you're shooting in, in the U.S., might not really, might not matter to you uh, how much your rifle weighs. Um, in places where you're in a tree stand or you're in a fixed held position, uh, the, the weight of the rifle might not, uh, might not make a difference to you. Uh, if you're going somewhere in the world where you have to walk, if you have to stalk uh, whatever animal you're, you're hunting, if you have to walk a certain distance to get to the camp, to get to your hunting spot, uh, then yes, I can see where walking with a much heavier rifle like the AR-10 over the AR-15 can, uh, can almost become a burden and something you wouldn't want to do. Very common round to go hunting with is the 308. Uh, my my own uh, bolt action rifle is in the 308 as well. Uh, so having something on an AR platform that can fire the 308 is something that is sought after by many people. Simply because you have that uh, that semi-auto action of the rifle uh, with such a large and and popular round to hunt with. Another popular hunting round, the 6.5 Creedmoor, which is gaining. Uh, a whole lot of popularity right now. Again, it, to be able to fire that in a semi-automatic rifle platform, it, it makes it just that much more convenient than say having it in a bolt action rifle. There's a very few, very few parts uh, that can go on the AR-15 that can also be used in the AR-10. As we all know, the AR-15 is mil-spec. Every, everyone knows it's mil spec. If it's mil spec, it's going to fit. Uh, mil spec is, is that, one, that one house of measurements that we all know that anything that is mil spec for the AR 15, it's going to fit on the AR 15. Uh, like I said a little bit ago, there's a few, a few parts that go on the AR 15 that could be used for the AR 10 your ejection port cover, your buttstock and buffer tube assembly. Uh, uh, the, the pistol grip, as you can see, very, very similar to, it, it, it's not very similar, it is the exact same pistol grip. So there are a few similarities, uh, but for the most part, the AR-10, your upper receiver, lower receiver, the, uh, the handguard, the barrel nuts, the uh, barrel extensions, those are all going to be unique to the AR-10. Uh, also included is the, uh, the charging handle. Our standard rear charging handle, as you see here, uh, it, looks, it has the same shape as your AR-15 charging handle, but because of the longer upper receiver, that charging handle is also going to be longer. Our 308s, uh, are their DPMS pattern, okay? So you've got your AR-10s that are the uh, DPMS pattern, uh, Gen 1 pattern, and then you have the Armalite pattern. Uh, ours, all of our AR-10, uh, assemblies, rifles, uh, anything done for our AR-10s are the DPMS Gen 1 pattern. Another unique thing about our AR-10s is of the three calibers that we have, the 243, 308, 6.5 Creedmoor, all of those can use the exact same magazine for those three calibers. Another unique thing about our AR-10s is all three calibers use the exact same bolt as well. So essentially Taking this 308 rifle and if I want to change it to the 243 or the 6.5 Creedmoor, as long as your gas system is the exact same length and your gas block is the same size, all I really have to do is change this barrel to this rifle to be able to fire another caliber. Again, the BCG, the bolt, it's, it's all the same, same depth, same headspace uh, on the bolt. Uh, therefore, all you have to do is change the barrel. 
We're talking about recoil uh, of your 308 and your 556. Um, if if you're like me, when <laughs> when I fire, I, I tend to not think about the recoil. Uh, it's just I, I'm, I'm more concentrated on my sight placement, my sight alignment, uh, my shot placement, what I'm doing with the rifle. So I tend to not really think about what recoil there is. Yes, obviously there's going to be more of a recoil when you have a larger round, say like the 308, compared to your 223 or 556. One of the better parts about having such large calibers in an AR style rifle is you have that that shock absorption, the, the, that, that buffer and buffer spring in your buffer tube, you have that shock absorption that really, really holds on to and, and disseminates that, that uh, recoil uh, so that you're not feeling it in the, in the buttstock and then into your shoulder. Another of the positive things about the AR-10, since you have these uh, much larger calibers than the calibers for the AR-15, you have a, uh, you have an advantage at reaching out to your target that could be a lot further away from you uh, than, than what you would engage with the AR-15. You have the, uh, the, as I mentioned earlier, the 308 caliber, which is a very popular caliber to hunt with. Uh, and it's not just because of its, its flat trajectory and its true flight uh, once, it's, once it's sent off, uh, but its ability to stop uh, whatever prey you're shooting at uh, at, at further distances. So uh, it's very similar with the AR-15, you got your 6.5 Grendel that has a flat trajectory that can reach out. Uh, but then when you get to those greater distances, uh, that stopping power may not be there with the 6.5 Grendel compared to the 308. With the 308, 6.5 Creedmoor, even the 243 for such a small projectile, such a small bullet, it still has that that velocity and that distance to get out there uh, and, 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 and put an animal down uh, depending on what animal you're hunting. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. If you like any of our AR-10s or AR-15s, go on to our website uh, and, and, and check what we have out. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and on Rumble and on Rumble. Y'all be safe in the woods, be safe at the range. We'll see you next time.